this video, let's take a few minutes to examine the kit bashing tool set in 3D Coat. Now, for those that are not already familiar with the term kit bashing, it refers to the ability to create a model from a collection of stored assets. For example, smaller components that you may already have saved on your hard drive, and you may want to organize them in a logical structure. For example, here you can see a number of subdirectories that are categorized. In this case, I created a new folder for this particular model, and uh, you can do the same by going to the top of the menu and clicking Add New Folder. You can also rename a current folder or delete a current folder. At the very bottom of this menu, you can change the size of the thumbnails. Okay, I'll go back to normal. Now this allows you in 3D Coat to both store and retrieve assets. As you're constructing models in 3D Coat, you can at any time just drag and drop straight into the model's palette. The same goes for the splines palette, and we'll talk about that shortly. Okay, and then the next option is to decimate your model if you want before you store it. In this case, the default will be 50%. If you don't want any decimation to occur, you can always just drag all the way to zero. You can also enter the value numerically. Okay. And now you see this new instance, 3D Code created a new thumbnail. It also adopted the name of the layer. The second option you have available is to use just your standard Windows Explorer to copy and paste files from your hard drive into this main directory here, this My Documents, 3D Coat, then navigate to Box Stamps. So this will be your master folder for both the Models Palette and the Splines Palette. Okay, so this would be your default folder for the Models Palette. And you can see the subdirectories here. Now when you drag and drop or copy and paste into this directory or any of these subdirectories, you'll get not only a, a copy of the OBJ file, but also a thumbnail. 3D Coat will create one on the fly for you. So, let's go ahead and just demonstrate that by dragging, dropping an OBJ straight into the model's palette. So if I click on this, you can see the object now in the scene. Again, if you're not all that familiar with how the merge tool works in a 3D Coat, this is simply a temporary proxy container. 3D Coat will fill it with voxels once you hit Apply or the Enter key. But you can scale it and transform it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and assemble this model. I don't really have to pay much attention to this one because it's, again, it's just a container and I'm going to go ahead and click on the first object. Now, if you happen to see that it doesn't come in correctly, for example, if it doesn't come back in the same scale and the same position that you saved it as, then what you can do is simply go to Reset Space. Okay, and that should fix it. All right, so now... All I have to do is find the particular layer that I saved it from. What I did to help preserve memory is I cleared each layer after I stored it. And what that does is it leaves it empty, but there's still some information there. Obviously, I don't have to retype in the name of the layer. I don't have to set the resolution. And also, when I hit Apply or the Enter key, you'll notice what will happen here. Okay, so now when I click another tool, you can see that it brought it right back in with the same shader. So this layer, this empty layer that I left behind, maintained that, that shader information. The same thing will happen with these other elements as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started putting this together and speed the playback so that you can see it in an accelerated manner. So stay tuned.
Okay, so that should uh, should do it. And you can see how quickly you can bring these elements back in. Again, if you want, you can uh, use this method if you want to offload certain layers. You can also right-click on a layer, save volume to 3B, or you could save volume with subtree. So if you have a layer like this with sublayers, then 3D Coat will save this layer intact with its hierarchy. The benefit of that is you can always file, merge, and find the 3D coat scene. And when you merge it in, it will come right back in the same position, same scale, same shader, everything, exactly as it was in the scene without all the other layers that you don't need. Okay, so with that, this should conclude part one of the kit bashing tool set in 3D coat.